my mother, she comes down with uh, terminal cancer. She talks to me, she says, hey baby, I'm gonna be fine. So I'm thinking mom's gonna be fine. And then later that night, I get a call from my sister saying that they can't find her pulse, come home immediately. And guess what? I don't have the money to buy a plane ticket. You never really think about emergency issues until one hits you. And we flew down to Louisiana because the Navy was kind enough to uh, assist me uh, with a program called the Navy Marine Corps Relief Program. I got there to see my mom and uh, basically the doctor said she expired two hours ago. You wanna talk about that stung me? So here it is, I got there and the only reason why I couldn't see my mother alive, some of my siblings did, they got to hear her last words, but I did not. I was doing good. I was you know, able to take care of my wife, my kid, but I wasn't ready as much as I thought I was. And if it wasn't for that moment where I had to go apply for a hardship, get all of that, that took hours and the next day, I could have been there. And that happened to me 35 years ago and it still stings me to this day. It stings right now, knowing that it didn't have to be that way. All I had it to do was go out to eat just a few less times to go to the movies a few less time. Don't buy that beanie hat, or don't buy that GQ pair of shoes for 160 bucks. Just a small little incremental things I could have changed in my life and I failed to do it. And now here I am 35 years later, still feeling that sting. I wonder what mom would have said to me if I would have been there next to her. So what did I do? From that moment on, I said, this will never happen to me again. I promise you that will not happen. And it didn't. 